Stone's um, Chocavesa. So this is chart the, the, the chart variant. This is from 2016. I got this in the um, Richmond, Virginia brewery when I was down there. Um, really nice brewery. I, you, I did a beer review with, with, with my buddy John. Um, so this is a mocha stout ale brew with cocoa, coffee, and spices, and aged bourbon barrels. So this base beer is a recipe of the 2014 Stone Homebrew Competition. Um, Chris Banker, an intensely flavored milk stout brew with cocoa, coffee, and spices to mimic the flavors of Mexican hot chocolate. Um, I haven't had the, the, the base in a long, 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 um, I do remember liking it, but uh, I'm just dying to dive into this. When, they, when, when I saw this on the shelf, I was like, okay, I gotta do this. So unfiltered in age six months in Kentucky bourbon barrels. Uh, lactose, coffee, vanilla, bacilla peppers, nutmeg, cinnamon, and cocoa. Uh, challenging these Kenting, these Kent golden hops. Coffee malt. I'm just really stalling so I can get this open. Okay, well, this is good. This is embarrassing. This is really embarrassing. Okay, well. Well, well, well. Okay, and then I'm going to stand up to get a little bit more leverage. Hey, oh. Workflow. Guys, I really don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I got one of these suckers, and I already pre-did it. So, you guys want the awesome pop? I don't trust it now. Nice. Nice, uh, nice smoky hissy this, hissiness. And into our Spiegelau barrel age glass where it goes. So this has been sitting out. This has minimized in my uh, stout fridge, so it's probably it's a good temp. It's been out for a little bit. All righty then. Cool. I don't know. Why I'm looking. I don't, I don't even know where to look. I have like the screens up there. The screens here. Um, wow, that smells fucking delicious. Got like coffee and just bourbon. Um, one finger ahead. I didn't. I poured set aggressively. Semi. Probably, probably a little less aggressively. I'm um, actually looking. You know how you know this reminds me of. Joe from uh, Jazz Arcade when he's always looking down like this. I, I assume he's looking at a laptop or, or something. But uh, yeah, that's that's kind of I'm like, okay, yeah, it looks, what does that look like? Yeah, pitch black and glass. Yeah, now I definitely feel like Joe from Jazz Arcade. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, pitch black. Let's get a let's get a nose. Uh, actually, nice nice lacing. This is this comes in at uh, nine point six percent. Okay, a little less than I thought it was gonna be. Oh. It's got the roast of the coffee. And you can tell that this is like a little bit older because it does have that it does have that, that that tinge of green pepper, but coming through is like vanilla, bourbon. You get some cinnamon, some nutmeg. This smells delicious. Cheers. That's outstanding. Whoa. More booze than I thought it would have. I think it's a hot barrel. Um, so up front, you get roastiness, you get the barrel, you get vanilla. Now, I'm not getting as much of the um, of the spice character as I would I would expect from the nose. Um, I don't know if that's something that would have fell off or uh, turn this back here. That doesn't matter. Okay, as a light sip, you do get that nutmeggy spiciness. Um, and then you get a lot of roast, a lot of barrel char, a lot of char from the barrel on the sides of your on, on the sides of your tongue. Um, and this is just it's just absolutely um, bonkers. It's really really great. Um, when it, I've had a few coffee beers lately um, that that I've been aging, and then um, like I had barrel aged bomb um, that. I thought that was a, just a green pepper bomb. To be honest, it was it was definitely a few years old. Uh, I don't even know if I don't think I released the review. Yet. I, I have a another review of a more recent one. I think I wanted to kind of splice together. Um, then I had a Trillium um, PM Dawn that was like a year old, like with 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 cacao, and uh, I thought that was also very um, very um, what's what I'm looking for here um, green peppery as well. Um, so I guess take it for what it is. Uh, this though holds up very well. The, the green pepper on the nose, but it's not too much on the flavor. 
if, if, if I look a little uh, uh, spaced right now, I don't remember if I turned on the proper microphone. So this, this, this beer review could uh, sound like shit. Um, so shit, that sucks. But uh, yeah, this is absolutely fantastic. The warmer it gets, the more I drink, the more the cinnamon and the nutmeg comes through. While, while I was there originally, when I was drinking it. I think now that I'm let, I'm letting it like, it's, it, I'm getting used to the used to the used to it on my palate. I can pick up more. So the cinnamon and the nutmeg are coming through nicely, and it's like a little bit of burn. Um, it's absolutely that's absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, if you guys can still get um, Stone's Chocavesa Chard. Their uh, 2016 series, batch number three, obviously 2016 series in the 2016, um, their mocha stout with cocoa, coffee, spices, and aged in bourbon barrels. Um, I definitely recommend it. And they have boatload of bottles at the brewery, so maybe they just have a, excuse me, maybe they just have a stockpile of it. And uh, yeah, if, if you can get to the, any of the breweries, there's so many stone breweries now. Um, I didn't even realize there was one in Richmond when I went down to Richmond, and I was like, that's awesome. I never thought I would actually probably make the stone, and I uh, can say now that I've been at a stone brewery, and did a beer review there and uh, drank some beers that just aren't going to leave that brewery. Um, they're pretty fantastic. Um, I always forget Stone is something you take for granted. They still make some great beers. Um, not, I, I feel like I fell out of love with Arrogant Bastard, Double Bastard over the years. But um, regardless, if you see like their IPA and tap, it's still a solid West Coast IPA. Um, the Stone Russian Imperial Stout, staple, right? Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, comments down below. Always like to have a chat. Um, nurse on that Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, if those are your things. Hit the bell to uh, be notified whenever we post a new video. And uh, I'm Sean. This is Nerd Sense. Cheers. Cheers.